Just a moment. We're getting some breaking news uh, when it comes to the 2024 presidential um, race. We want to turn back to Israel in a moment, but I want to go to Steve Patterson, um, who's standing by for us now. Um, Steve, good to talk to you. I hear we're getting some news in when it comes to former Vice President Mike Pence and his bid for the White House. What do we know? Yeah, former President Mike Pence has suspended his campaign. I apologize for the noise. Uh, yeah, Ron DeSantis is now stepping up on stage. This is a huge event for the RJC, welcoming in uh, all eight candidates running for president. Uh, as we know, this is really, the race has shifted to uh, who's strongest on foreign policy because of the war in Israel. That's what we were hearing from Pence maybe just 15 minutes ago. He was going in to his support and their right to defend themselves and the wave of anti-Semitism that we're seeing here in this country uh, and sort of what he's done in that, both in uh, the White House and on Capitol Hill. But then all of a sudden, very abruptly, mm. he just suddenly announced that he was suspending his race for president. I don't think anybody's really expected this. The crowd was caught off guard. There was sort of a wave of hush that spanned out over the crowd. Uh, you could hear some shock sort of breaths as this happened. Uh, and then he sort of carefully and steadily said that this is no longer his fight. It's no longer his race. And that sort of God gave him the clarity not only to get involved in the race, but to step aside. So a really shocking announcement uh, from the vice president, from the former vice president, and, and not something I think we expected to hear at all. It really came out of nowhere. Yasmin. Um, any reporting, um, Steve, on, on more of why he did this now, if he's been at all in touch uh, with former president um, Trump's um, campaign amidst this announcement and any reaction you're getting beyond what you described to us from um, the crowd there amidst this announcement? You know, it was just all so sudden. And again, just a few minutes ago that we really haven't had time to react. I spoke to the uh, the embed that is, uh, of course, embedded with him on the campaign trail, asked her sort of, did we know this was coming yeah. at all? Did we have any ideation? She told me sort of that, you know, the writing was on the wall that the barrier for entry into the next debate is a lot higher. So some of these candidates are going to start dropping off. I think sort of the consensus was if he couldn't make that next step, then mm. of course it'll be very difficult to keep this campaign running. And it seems that that was the writing on the wall. But to announce it here, sort of in the middle of this speech, sort of sight unseen, again, very shocking. Yeah, certainly the timing of this. Um, um, we're going to be learning more about, I'm sure, in the hours to come. Um, if you will, Steve, dig into that for us. Talk to some folks there on the ground to get their reaction. We'll circle back to you um, in our next hour. Steve Patterson for us. Um, thank you.